Hi teachers, welcome back. This is a continuation of our teacher facing video that's focused on unit two, day two, and creating breakout rooms for the student activity related to the three Gs. Again, my name is Mr. Giordano and I'm the fifth grade virtual content specialist. Okay, so here's the activity. Gold, God, gold, and glory for this lesson. Um, so in this lesson, students are investigating different resources, a variety of materials, and they're completing this motivation fact, motivating factors chart after reviewing the resources. So what you may want to do as the teacher is have each group focus on only one motivation. So just focusing on God, just, just focusing on gold, or just focusing on glory. So what would you do? Uh, first, what you would do is you would separate students into breakout rooms to review their re the sources and share their information with each other, focusing solely on their assigned motivation. So whichever one that they were assigned, whichever of the three Gs. They would complete their section of the table of motivating factors chart from the lesson in a shared Google slide with the rest of their group members. And each group would have one copy of those slides to type on together. And you would want to make sure that the slides are on students can edit mode, that way all the students in that group can edit it together. After the breakout room, students would return back to the full class video session at a designated time, and they would each be able to make a short presentation to the other groups synchronously about their chart, or about their section of the chart. And as the, students groups, the student groups present, the rest of the groups would be able to fill in their charts with the new information presented. So here's an example of what this might look like in a template. And of course, the first thing you would want to do is click this and you make yourself a copy. But before you start distributing this out to students, you would want to edit this for your class's needs and then make a copy for each breakout room group. And I did include in here that very first slide that would have the breakout room groups, including the Google Meet. Um, and you could, of course, also paste in here the names of the students that are in each room. That might be an additional slide you would add between slide one and slide two, the names of which students are in which breakout rooms. You might need more than five as well. So you we might have to play around with this first slide to set it up the way that you would want it to be. But then what I did here was in the lesson, this chart has all three sections, God, Gold, and Glory. I just split it up into three different slides so that way the students have more room to type. So this would be for God, gold, and glory. So let's say, for example, I was in the gold group, I would only complete this section with my breakout room. But then when I went back to the full group share out, I would be able to complete the God section and the glory section as my peers presented from their breakout room. So this just allows us to kind of separate the writing that way it's not all jumbled up into one slide. And then I just edited the notes up here. That way it makes a little bit more sense for breakout rooms. So it says, review your notes from your analysis of the videos, pictures, and other sources to complete your breakout rooms assigned section of, ch of the chart with details about God, gold, or glory. When you meet back with the entire class, you can add further information to your chart for the other remaining sections as each group presents their slides. Okay, so that is the example of the template. Now you could take this task to the next level and level up to a jigsaw activity. So this would be taking it to another level where students are in two different groups. So let's first talk about how a jigsaw activity is organized and what it is. A jigsaw activity is a group learning where each student of a home group specializes in one aspect of a topic. Students meet with members from the other home groups who are assigned the same topic, and this is called an expert group. After the students master the material in their expert groups, they will return to their home groups and each take a turn teaching the material to their other home group members. So how would this look for this activity? So again, you're going to have groups focus on just one of the three Gs, God, Gold, or Glory. They're going to use the same format of the breakout rooms, but just transform it into a jigsaw. So before you do anything, you would want to create two sets of groups, your home groups and your expert groups. So first, the expert groups, very similar to what we were talking about for the breakout rooms, will consist of students with the same assigned topic, God, gold, or glory. And these students will work in a breakout room to complete the task. 
the exact same way they would have in the breakout room explanation. Now, all the expert groups will return to the full class video session. In this video session, you will share your screen of the new home groups. So now you would have to have another set of groups, which would be the home groups. This would consist of various expert group members who each have a different assigned topic. Each home group would consist of a mixture of students assigned God, gold, and glory. This will ensure each home group consists of students who became experts on one of the three topics. So the home groups would have a few students who focused in on God, who focused in on gold, and who focused in on glory. The students will then again leave the full group meet and go into a breakout room, but this time with their home group members, and they will each present their completed chart from their expert group to their home group peers and actually act as a teacher, teaching them about the material that they've mastered and become experts on related to this activity. So this is a way to just take the breakout rooms and transform it into a jigsaw activity if you wanted to consider doing that for this activity. Okay, last but not least, I wanted to show you a great tool for making student groups. Because this can sometimes be stressful and be an added burden, but this resource called Flippity really helps you to make it easier. It allows you to change group members, change group numbers, and swap out names without any stress. So let me click this link and show you what to do. When you click Flippity, it will take you to this page. You'll see all these different spreadsheets. You're going to go to the one that says Flippity Random Name Picker and click Template. You're going to make a copy. Okay, and it's going to open up to this sample. These are all the sample names that they give you. You can delete this out and just copy and paste your class list into this resource. When you're done copying and pasting your class list into this resource, you're going to go to File, and then you're going to go to Publish. You wanna make sure you publish this first. Once it's published, then you're going to X out of this. We're not gonna take this link. We're going to go to this little tab down here, get the link here, and take this link. So I'll open it up for you. And this would have your student names. In this case, it just used the sample ones. And you can see that it creates this really cool spinner. So you can spin it um, during your Google Meet sessions. And this just could be for regular everyday lessons. But what I love is up here where it says groups of two. And it will just split the, kid, the students up into groups for you. Groups of three, groups of five. You can have four teams, you can have five teams, you can go to more, and you can play around with how you would want the, the seating situation to go. They, you can even create a seating chart with this. Um, and you could swap out names. So let's say in this case, I wanted Jessica to be with Daniel instead of Robert. I can just pull Robert, or click on Robert, click on Jessica, and it lets them switch. So you can do that and then you can take a screenshot of this and copy it onto a slide for students to see which, which, which students are in which group. Um, you can also print this and hang this up in your classroom if you're in person. Um, so this is just a great tool and it makes your grouping situation much easier to manage and to edit as time goes on. That way students are not always in the same breakout rooms with the same students. They get to see other students and interact with them as well. Okay, let me go back. So thank you everyone for joining me today. Good luck with your future breakout rooms and I'll see you soon.